Hello and welcome to GoTo Tech Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at how DDR4 speeds can impact your frames per second while gaming on the Intel HD 530 graphics. <laughs> All right, so before we begin, uh, I just wanted to go over a few things on the channel. Uh, first off, huge shout out to uh, my YouTube audience out there. Uh, the response to the channel has been overwhelmingly positive and the growth is so much more than I ever thought it would be at this point. I didn't even think I would make it even out to 18 episodes, to be honest. Uh, but that's all thanks to you guys. Um, so again, a huge thank you. Um, <clears throat> with that, I still have plenty of future content planned. Uh, so for the ne uh, next two months, I already have uh, videos scheduled uh, to release every weekend. And yeah, I, I, I look forward to that and it should be a lot of good fun. Uh, also, in that, I will be upgrading my um, system to the X99 platform. Uh, this here is the new uh, board from ASUS. This is the X99A2 board. Uh, so stay tuned for an unboxing and overview in the next week or two. <coughs> okay, so for this video, um, we're going to be... <coughs> oh, sorry here. So for this video, uh, we're going to be testing uh, the DDR4 speeds and how they impact uh, frames per second while gaming on the Intel HD 530 graphics. Uh, the, the platform that we're going to be gaming on is the <clears throat> uh, this is the Gigabyte Z170N Gaming 5 Mini ITX motherboard and the Skylake Core i3 6100. Um, and I don't have the box for it but uh, I'm using the uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, DDR4 from G Skill, uh, rated at 3,000 megahertz, so two times four gigabytes, so dual channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test four games. We're gonna test Team Fortress 2, Portal 2, Skyrim, and CS:GO, uh, and we're gonna test that at uh, DDR4 speeds of 2133 megahertz, 2666, and 3,000 megahertz. Um, but to me, the more interesting one is actually the 2133 megahertz. Uh, the, reason be, uh, the reason being is uh, all the motherboards uh, or all the chipsets out there that are not the Z170 chipset do not have XMP enabled, um, which means that you are gonna be limited to the 2133 uh, DDR4 speeds. Uh, if you want to get higher than 2133 and utilize XMP, you're going to have to use a Z170 chipset. Uh, those boards are a little bit more expensive, but you're able to squeeze more performance and you'll have more flexibility overall. Um, so yeah, uh, so the recording that you'll see here, uh, the, the games were all recorded while using the 3000 megahertz. So yeah, let's just jump right in and take a look at the results and take a look at the gameplay.
All right, so we've now seen uh, the results and the gameplay for each of the uh, the games that we tested, and the the results were kind of mixed. Um, not quite was what I was expecting, but I I think what I got out of this was that your mileage will vary by game. Um, so games like CS:GO and Team Fortress 2. Uh, they only saw uh, increases from 3 to 5% in uh, frames per second. But games like Portal 2 and Skyrim uh, saw 11 to 20%. So really, it just depends on the game and the settings. I think there's probably some settings I could have done in each of the games to, got, to get a little bit more uh, uh, frames per second out of each of them. Uh, if you happen to know, uh, just leave a comment below and let me know. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching today. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, please do. And use the Amazon affiliate link below. Uh, that helps provide uh, future content uh, for the channel. And again, just a huge thank you, and I look forward to uh, producing uh, more content. Uh, with that, I will uh, catch you next week. Thanks for watching.